contest is a lights out, non-sanctioned, non-title bout where PCW Ultra assumes zero responsibility or liabilities because all violence is legal! The dimming of the lights there, very meaningful, because that in essence signals the end of PCW Ultra No Quarter. This match not sanctioned by PCW Ultra, by Defy Wrestling, the title's not on the line. This is basically extracurricular. This means the promotions want to wash their hands of this. They don't want to take any responsibility for what's going to happen. This is taking all violence as legal, quite frankly, to a whole new level. I spoke to Eddie Kingston and Homicide earlier tonight. They are here on a mission, and that mission is to answer the call of all violence is legal. Making their way into the ring, from the streets of New York City, the team of Homicide and Eddie Kingston, they are Outlaws Inc. Outlaws Inc. As I was saying, Todd, I spoke to them earlier. They're here for one reason. They have seen the rough shot that War Beast Contra has, has done all around the world today. They are the Defy Champions as War Beast. They are the PCW Ultra Tag Team Champions. So happy to not be doing and they wanted to come here and, and change that. They're not looking for the titles. They're here, and I quote, to beat the shit out of War Beast. Easier said than done, my friend. And there has been a whole lot of talking between these two factions. And there you take a look. Victoria Vaughn leading them to the ring to battle. And look at Batu. <laughs> My goodness. Their opponents accompanied to the ring by Viva Van at an unknown combined weight. The team of Batu and Joseph, they are War B. You know, Christian, in the past, I've talked about Batu as a Samoan Dynasty, Frankenstein's monster, the, the, the strength, the animalistic aggression of his uncle, Eki Fatu Umaga, the speed of his cousins, the Usos, but sport to look reminiscent of Haku, of me. There are goosebumps on the arms of every individual in this room. And you have to ask yourself, if Eddie Kingston and Hamasai share that physical reaction, how do you not? How do you not feel some type of way at the sign of war beast? But as I said earlier, these guys are coming in on a mission. They're not here for the championships. They are here for a fight. Yeah, not too many teams taking a number to face war beasts when you see the absolute carnage that they have created from coast to coast. And Outlaws Inc doing just that. The title's not on the line as we stipulated. This thing, an unsanctioned war and and really a war of bragging rights. You know, it, I know you're a fan of hip hop and there was always that kind of East Coast, West Coast rivalry. Well, Outlaws Inc. kind of own and rule the roost on the East Coast and of course War Beast right at home in their house in the Ultratorium. Look at Homicide getting right in the face of Joseph. The fight is broken out here at the beginning of this unsanctioned exhibition here. This is just a fight. Don Vitale has gone back to the back. He said he wanted no part of what he's about to witness here. And quite frankly, you and I could have left 10 minutes ago, but I wasn't going to miss this fight for the world. Oh, no doubt about it. This is going to be like a car crash. You just, you don't, you don't want to look, but you have to. And Homicide has been in PCW Ultra in the past, had a ultra championship shot against then champion Pentel Cerro Miedo. Eddie Kingston at one point faced Brody King in a PCW Ultra ring. I spoke to Don Vitale earlier, of course he's the director of communications. Oh, he told me that 
he was just going to send Rick Knox out there, not on PCW official business, just to make there. sure no one got killed. But I'm not sure, is, is Knox going to count a three count? Is it, if a man submits, what happens next? I mean, I, I think what's going to happen is whoever just doesn't get up loses. It, it could kind of turn into that, almost a, in essence, a, la, a last man standing type of affair. Again, all bets are off in this thing. Completely unsanctioned. No promotion wanted to touch this thing, and a, a heated war of words in social media between these two factions. And it's led to this, and it certainly looks to boil over here in the Ultra Torium. Fatu going to work on the outside. And in a way, this is PCW Ultra, but it's similar to like an MLW versus Impact Wrestling type of fight. Of course, Eddie Kingston and Homicide both making, you know, World stars out of themselves by competing. Man, this is getting nasty tongue, Jesus. Uh, by competing in Impact Wrestling, and of course, Fatu and uh, Joseph, they have every championship in the world right now. They've got the Defy Tag Team titles, the PCW Ultra Tag Team titles, Fatu winning championship gold in MLW, taking over wherever they go, doing what they want, how they want, to who they want. And you got Homicide out there with Fatu. I mean, again, we're gonna do our best to keep up with the action. And our camera crew will do their best to keep up with the action and stay out of harm's way. Homicide and Sheep going after one another here as Eddie Kingston and Fatu brawling on the other side of the arena. Fans in the arena torn on which, which direction to look. That was a nasty shot. That, was that a Dr. Pepper can? There's 23 flavors in there, partner. Man, all control is lost, so much so that Rick Knox, much like the fans, doesn't know where to look. And either do we. This is going to be just an absolute Please don't come over here. This, this platform cannot brutal this ballet. Cannot that, that's, just a, that's just a waste of beer by sheep. No, that's I don't feel like to see that. No. Expecting this thing, every seat's going to become a front row seat here in the Ultratorium. In a hurry. Hide your wife, hide your kids. And hide the merch table. It's a massive merch table just flying through the crowd here. God, we've seen a lot of War Beast matches. We've seen a lot of brutal, bloody contests for the PCW Ultra tag titles. And Tonight we see something different, an unsanctioned fight. Rick Knox is standing on the ring apron by himself. Can you blame him? I don't blame him. Can you blame him at all? And Warbeast does come into this matchup with a lot of momentum We're all over the wrestling world, but right here coming off of a huge victory over the Lucha Brothers, Pentel Serenietta and Ray Phoenix. This is violent, man. I got to tell you, Tom. Oh my God! Nasty. I can't see Flying it tables time. around the ring. Got two. Oh, wait, wait they're the, starting to come. The fans away, behind so him. Me. What a story, War Beast! Because they, they started out as two of the most hated, but really three with Brody King, three of the most hated guys in the Pacific Ultra, and they have won Southern California over with their tenacious and vicious attacks. They don't give up until you are battered and bloodied on the ground. And you're witnessing that type of violence right now. Well, the faithful here, they have certainly grown an appetite for destruction when it comes to war peace. They've taken their brand of violence from coast to coast, and now Outlaws Inc. coming out here trying to do the same. Well, we're we're going to just let this, this story let the photos tell the story right now. This, this is broken down, Todd. It certainly has, and, and what would you expect? And again, you, you're, you're really seeing why PCW Ultra would not say to you. And Joseph now going to work, headbutt after headbutt. And he will attack the premium with everything he's got. Even 
Angel Vanis is just watching on the outside. She's, oh, she really is actually just in the ring. She's not near the action, though. We usually see her stalking people and attempting to get her own punches in. I'm just glad right now, partner, that we're out of harm's way up here in the broadcast position. And I hope they don't get any of Joseph is a maniac. Flying furniture around the Ultra Terrier. And an answer. Joseph just ate that chair. They're, they're right they're right behind me. Furniture flying. Bodies flying as well. Last time out against the Lucha Brothers, you remember, Joseph absolutely got skewered. He had those wooden skewers in his head. Wooden mohawk. I saw. <laughs> Close to ringside here. Don't know if this thing will sniff the ring though for very long. Fighting around the outside. There's a whole lot of weapons to choose from. And Fatu, just a walking weapon in his own right. Yeah, you actually can see the effects of this match on Fatu. Blood. Fatu oh. might be human after all. You see the blood start to stream. Rick Knox can't do anything about what's happening here. Even Jeremy Marcus is coming back to try to just make sure that these guys get out of this thing alive. Eddie Kingston sending another table into the ring. <laughs> or, I, 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 yeah, I think that's a board point. Yeah. What is that it, doing out here? Well, it looks exactly like a table. Might have the same effect as a table. And, part of our production. In turning this building into a wrestling arena, there are all types of miscellaneous things under the ring. You're starting to hear that metal clashing. I'm not sure where that's coming from. So much action here. Joseph hit hard and heavy on the outside, but that allows, that opens the door, and he might have a door, literally, uh, for, that, for Eddie Kingston here in there with Fatu. Yeah, that's like a closet door. And, Eddie Kingston is going to try to put it up. And now, he's, demanding, he's demanding Rick Knox to do it. And now gives him a middle finger. Like you were saying earlier, Knox doesn't want to have anything to do with this. Frankly, he could have clocked out 30 minutes ago. He said he's here just for the health and safety of these four men who just are just in here. fight. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Through the hardware. Kingston, no small competitor, just the incredible, incredible explosiveness of Fatu. Advantage Warbeast at the moment. Look out here, look at the athleticism of the big man. Got tripped up though, I believe. Oh, they're on the floor. Yeah, it looks like Homicide grabbed the hands during that handspring. And, and Warbeast really showing the effects as both, both members of Warbeast now bleeding. Not too many tandems can draw first blood when you're in there with Warbeast, but that's exactly what Outlaw Zinc have done. Just a shard of that formerly wooden door exploding onto the already lacerated forehead of Joseph. It's gonna be specks of sawdust by the time this thing's over. Spit it out after taking a big bite out of Joseph. And this is the type of environment, type of environment where homicide has really been able to make a name. And now shades of Abdul the butcher here. Oh, he's got, a fork. he's got a fork. And it's right digging into the forehead of the midnight sun, Joseph. An attack that Abby himself would be oh, proud of. Nasty. Yikes. Joseph already cut on the forehead and Homicide digging the, the cutlery at Silverware, pointing that hard metal right into the forehead. This is a battle that's not for the faint of heart. We might see all the blood that that heart of Joseph is pumping if this continues. And again, everything goes here, Christian. Man, th 
thunderous. That thick piece of wood remaining from the door strewn across the back of the Midnight Sun Joseph, who was bleeding profusely from his forehead, and now homicide with a full guard ring. See how heavy it is. It's difficult to even get it up into the ring. That's cold, hard, unforgiving, thick steel. You know, we, we haven't seen a lot of, of Kingston after taking that alley -oose through that board, but it's, it's come down to Joseph and Homicide at the moment. Joseph's what trying to crawl away. He sees the guardrail, trying to get away from Homicide as he is clearly dizzy and beaten and destroyed, bleeding profusely all over the ring. That blood loss becomes a factor. In a big way, Homicide, oh, what's he thinking bad. here? This is bad news, dude. A little disrespect from Homicide. Oh, no! Oh, my God, a reversal by Joseph! Countered by Joseph into the backdrop right on that guardrail. And the Midnight Sun trying to turn out the lights for Homicide. Throwing for distance, look out here, neckbreaker! Right on that unforgiving rail. Both men really feeling the effects of that net breaker. Joseph labors as he tries to get back to his feet. The fans showing appreciation here at no quarter. We've seen War Beast in some hellacious battles. Maybe none quite like this. Incredible. And again, we gotta wonder if, if somebody's ever gonna really go for a, a, a pin attempt here, and try and put it away, or they're just having too much damn fun. Oh, Todd, now there's not gonna be a pin. These guys are trying to kill each other. And what's that? And Joseph is dripping thumbtacks on a chair, on a steel chair. Two legendary weapons of the squared circle, and certainly not two tastes that taste great together if you're homicide, if it comes down to it. What kind of sadistic, you know what, does Joseph have in mind all putting on the brakes? Damn, that's close. Could lose an eye in a situation like that. Oh, God! What is he? Oh, my God! What are these men thinking? I know it's a fight, but you don't want to kill each other. Full face, full attacks for Joseph. And a handful for Patu! Into oh, the eyes of Homicide! Right into the eyes, straight the slam now. Homicide temporarily blinded. Not where you want to be! With the big man! The Samoan climbing to the top rope. Corner, corner, turn, by oh! That was Swanton by Fatu, are you kidding me? Oh, Jesus! Stiff chair shot to the back of the neck of Fatu. Thunderous chair shot. Kingston in there, and he is absolutely crowning people with that steel chair. Taking out the legs of Fatu. Well, you're not gonna see any more Swantons or moonsaults if this continues. Trying to take the legs out from the 300 pound Samoan. Fatu being attacked. And look at this. Victoria Vaughn in there now. She will get involved, but maybe not the time or place for her in this one. Oh, no. Hey, well, hold on, bro. No. Oh, what are you doing? Hey! What are you doing? There's nothing anybody can do about it. Unsanctioned Todd, lights are you out. Me? And turning the lights oh, out God. on God. Sickening! Sickening pile driver, come on. That is disgusting. I am sick to my stomach watching this. Someone's gotta stop this match. It's not even a match. It's a and and, and Fatu. They've, they've been reduced to biting each other. Tradition to come in there barefoot, as many of the powerful Polynesians have done and Homicide taking advantage and biting the feet of Fatu and now absolutely bludgeoning Joseph. That board across the throat of the Midnight Sun. 
and you can see the look in the eyes of Homicide and Eddie Kingston who look to conspire together and perhaps end the lives of War Beast here tonight at No Quarter. And, and I gotta, you know, implore to, we have many great young fans of PCW Ultra. This is not a PCW you Ultra match. Advice. Yeah, parents, if, if you're watching this, you know, it's, it's time to put the kids to bed. This is not fit for their eyes. Metal bucket right to the head of the bone Fatu. I have never seen Fatu in this, or rather Joseph in this type of trouble. Homicide has got that chain wrapped all around the throat of Joseph and really, really wrenching. No, 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 no. Don't throw him over. Don't do that. Oh, no, no. They are hanging Joseph. I can't, I can't watch this. Fatu, thank goodness he got there in the nick of time, because if that had continued, permanent damage could be done, or worse. Wow. We just, we just saw the Midnight Sun, Joseph being home in the middle row. Thank God that chain gave way, and Fatu was there to protect his tag team partner and it, and it just looks to me like business is over well, what, I mean, Kingston where do you Homicide. where do you go from there Homicide Homicide walking out of the arena and Kingston now has apprehended a cameraman Where are they going? I have no idea what they're doing. They, they, they grabbed the camera and they left. Todd, this is chaos here. Where, where is Don Vitale? Will someone get Don Vitale out here to the broadcast position so he can explain himself? Look, they're strong arming. They, they took a cameraman by force. All right, they're taking members of production. How long is it going to be before they take Ladies that? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to sign off first. So let's get the hell out of here. Rule a no contest. Right, no contest. No winner. All right. type of violence we just saw, the disregard for life, to, to see Viva be, I mean, a spinning back fist to a woman in the middle of the ring, a pile driver following it up. Uh, these guys come in here, Outlaws Inc., and they they absolutely have changed the culture here at PCW Ultra. The fans, their jaws are dropped. Mine, mine is dropped. I don't even know what to say. Well, we said that this thing would be beyond all, all violence is legal, and it was. Wow. And it, did you ever think anybody would take it farther, further than War Beast? And that is what Outlaw, Outlaws Inc. did. I, Homicide comes in here. Eddie Kingston comes in here. No respect for War Beast. No oh respect. my God. Hold. Hey, okay, okay. Hey, look. We'll get you a mic. Here. Homicide is joining us now at the broadcast position. And the camera's here so we can. War Beast. War Beast. You got new challengers coming to PCD Ultra. Beware of the Alonso Incorporated. Okay, take look, care. look. Come on, mother. And now he's going back to the ring. Hey, hey, listen, New York. We have lost hey. all control. Hey, look at me, mother. Listen, New York. Look, 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 New York. Look, hey, settle down, you're in my house, settle down. Settle down, listen, listen! It ain't no secret, you're the toughest son of a bitches that ever fought us in this building. There's no question hey, about that. It ain't no secret, but I tell you what, you wanna play with chains? Hey, homicide, me and you, right here, October 18th, Dog collar match. Oh my. What? That's when you chain your neck to my neck and we beat the shit out of each other till one man's left standing. That, that's good news. So, and, 
So, homicide is the capo. I'm New York and it ain't no secret I'm the capo of California. But you might have a Rottweiler named Eddie Kingston with you. But I got a Samoan werewolf with me. So Eddie Kingston, if you are so inclined, how about the Rottweiler against the Samoan werewolf in an I Quit match? And then we'll see, one on one, what's really up. Or, the bitch asses come out again, we can ring that bell one more time, and we can do it right now. What's it gonna be, Outlaw Z? Eddie Kingston, Eddie. Homicide are nowhere to be found right Look, now. I've been beat up before, and I'll be beat up again. But you're gonna have to f kill me before you take those belts out of mine and Fatu's hands. So come on, please. Bring your ass. I'm not sure. Bring your ass. Bring your ass. Bring your ass. ended about 25 minutes ago. It has been unsanctioned chaos well, ever since. I think we gotta go back there and get them ourselves. Oh my goodness. Get word to the back. For Outlaw Zinc, they better get out of here. They are in the home of War Beast. But how about the challenge that was issued? Dog collar match between Homicide and Joseph and then Kingston and Fatu unchained, if you will, in an I Quit match, as all four of these people will go into the void, perhaps, on October 18th.